Hello everyone, this is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. Today you will learn 10 useful expressions for business. So let's start. The first expression, to give someone a heads up. To give someone a heads up. So this means to inform someone about something important. So what is the origin of this expression? Why do we say heads up? Well, we say heads up because they must lift their heads from their work to listen. So this is a figurative expression. It is not literal, um, but that is the origin. We are asking them to interrupt their work and to lift their heads and to listen. Example. I just want to give you a heads up that the CEO will be here tomorrow. The manager says, just a heads up about tomorrow. The meeting will start at 9 a.m. So the manager is asking his team to stop what they are doing and to listen because he has some important information for them concerning the meeting. Okay, very, very common expression in, um, in an office environment. Expression two, to give someone the lowdown, to give someone the lowdown. This means to give someone the most important information about something. So we are giving someone a summary of the most important information. I don't have time to listen to all the details. Just give me the lowdown. So this person is very busy, doesn't have much time. He just wants the important information. Give me the lowdown. Give me the lowdown on the new iPhone. Notice the form. We say, give the lowdown on something, on a subject, on an object, on um, a topic. Okay, give me the lowdown. Very useful. Expression three, to fill someone in, to fill someone in. And this means to inform someone about something. Jane says, Mark, were you at the sales meeting yesterday? No. Okay. I'll fill you in. So Jane, when she says, I'll fill you in, this means that Jane will um, tell Mark um, what happened in the sales meeting. She is going to tell him what was discussed in the sales meeting. So if someone is absent, if someone misses some important information, we can fill them in with the details later. Expression four. To drop someone a line. To drop someone a line. And it means to write a letter to someone. It's often an informal letter. It's quite an informal expression, but it is very common. Please drop me a line with the prices. Okay, so this is something perhaps we would say on a telephone call um, with a supplier. So if you're a customer and you're talking to a supplier on the telephone, you could say, okay, please drop me a line with the prices. Another example, 
I'll drop you a line to confirm the details. Okay, so you might say this, for example, if you are inviting someone to a party or to an event somewhere, and then you finish the conversation by saying, I'll drop you a line to confirm the details, to confirm the date or the time. Drop you a line. Expression five. To stay in touch. Or we can say to keep in touch. The meaning is exactly the same. And the meaning is to continue to communicate with someone. Goodbye. It was nice to see you again. Stay in touch. Stay in touch. So it is often an expression that we use when we are saying goodbye to someone because we are asking them to continue to communicate with us. Keep in touch. Call me if you have any questions. Keep in touch. Call me if you have any questions. Okay? Expression six. To keep someone posted. To keep someone posted. Or to keep someone updated. It's the same meaning. And they mean to regularly tell someone what is happening in an important situation. Example. The manager says, Jane, has the customer sent us his insurance claim? Jane says, no, not yet. So the manager replies, Okay, please keep me posted. Please keep me posted. So the manager is asking Jane to tell him regularly what is happening with this situation. So he would like Jane to inform him regularly about this situation. Keep me posted or keep me updated. Expression seven. To keep someone in the loop. To keep someone in the loop. This is very, very common um, in a business or office environment. And it means to regularly inform someone about something. It is similar to keep someone updated. The manager says, you are in charge of the project, but please keep me in the loop. Please keep me in the loop. So the manager is asking um, his employee to manage the project, but to tell him regularly what is happening, to regularly inform him about the project. Keep me in the loop. Tell me regularly what is happening. Expression eight. To give someone a call. Or even to give someone a ring. And it's the same meaning. And it simply means to call someone by telephone. I gave you a ring, but you didn't answer. I'll give you a call when I arrive at the airport. I'll give you a call when I arrive at the airport. Okay, so this is obviously a very, very common expression um, in English. Expression nine. To get back to someone. And it means 
to reply to someone. The manager says, has the customer got back to us? So the manager is asking, has the customer replied to us? Has he given us an answer? Another example, Mark asks, could I speak to Mr. Jones, please? And the secretary replies, I'm sorry, but Mr. Jones is in a meeting. And then Mark says, OK, please ask him to get back to me. Please ask him to get back to me. So Mark would like Mr. Jones um, to call him after the meeting. So to reply to Mark's call. Please ask him to get back to me. Expression 10. To let someone know. And this is a very useful way of saying to inform someone about something or simply to tell someone something. Mark says, there's a conference in London tomorrow. Let me know if you would like to go. Let me know if you would like to go. So this simply means, tell me if you would like to go. Inform me if you would like to go. Very useful expression. Mark says, are you working next week? And Jane replies, I'm not sure. My manager will let me know tomorrow. My manager will let me know tomorrow. My manager will tell me tomorrow. Very, very useful and common expression. Okay. So there we are. And just to let you know, Crown Academy of English provides paid private English lessons through one of our partners. And you can click on the screen for more information.